What's going on everybody? Top 10 Pokemon here. Today I am bringing you a top 10 video. Today will be the top 10 most expensive cards from the brand new, not even released English TCG set, Scarlet and Violet. Now this set isn't supposed to be officially released until the end of this month, uh, but as usual, we have a bunch of raw cards that have already hit the open market. So we're going to analyze them and see exactly which ones are the top 10 most expensive at this time. Now, as I say in all of my top 10 videos, especially the ones with brand new sets, these prices you see today are not reflective of what they're going to be uh, a week or two from now or even a month or even next year. So depending on when you watch this video, the prices could drastically change, but it's always interesting to see what these cards sell for before they're even released. So this will be a top 10 most expensive list of the most expensive raw cards that have sold so far. So I hope you really enjoyed today's video. If you do, give it a thumbs up. Please don't forget to be a subscriber if you're not already and support the channel in any way possible, whether it's being a channel member or using my eBay affiliate link, uh, both in the description below. Thank you so much for doing that. All right, folks, we're not only gonna see how much these cards sell for, but we're gonna appreciate these cards uh, these newer cars we haven't seen before. Let's get started on today's top 10 video, starting out with the number 10 most expensive card thus far in this set. It is the Secret Rare Gyarados EX. Ah, I do love me a familiar Pokemon. This Gyarados EX has most recently sold in auction for $32. This guy right here is gonna be one of the few OG Pokemon we'll see on today's list. Uh, typically when you see base sets, whether it's Sun and Moon, uh, Sword and Shield, Scarlet and Violet, they put a lot of emphasis on the new Pokemon and they throw in a couple of old school ones here and there just to kind of reel you in, you know. The regular Gyarados EX in the set doesn't really sell for much, but this particular Gyarados EX, the secret rare version, sells for a little over $32 and it's the number 10 most expensive in the entire Scarlet and Violet set. Coming in as the number nine most expensive card in Scarlet and Violet is a full art trainer in this Arvin. This is a brand new trainer, as far as I know, that has recently sold in auction for $41 raw. Most modern sets are pretty heavy on the full art trainer cards. They put a lot of emphasis there. So I'm sure this won't be the only full art trainer we see on the list. This here, Arvin, is the number nine most expensive that I could find. The number eight most expensive card in this entire set is another full art trainer. Uh, this is the Special Illustration Rare Penny card. Uh, which I think might be another way of saying alternate art, special illustration rare, I don't know. But this particular secret rare trainer card has recently sold an auction for $41 plus $5.25 shipping. I don't know a whole lot about the trainers from Scarlet and Violet. Are you a big fan of them? Let me know. This secret rare full art penny trainer card is the number eight most expensive on our list. Coming in at number seven is the first of our legendary Pokemon. I think it's a legendary Pokemon anyway. It's a Maridon EX Gold Secret Rare card that has recently sold an auction for a grand total of $47.50. Like in previous sets, these Gold Secret Rare cards don't hit quite as hard as the alternate art cards do, but still, 47 bucks for a raw card is not too bad. This is the first time we are seeing this Maridon. Uh, what do you think of these legendary Pokemon? They're pretty cool looking. I don't know. Most legendary Pokemon look pretty cool. This is the number seven most expensive in the set. Speaking of which, our number six most expensive card is the gold secret rare Coridon EX that has sold an auction for about $52. This is the a second half of the legendary duo of Scarlet and Violet. And there's not much else to say about it. It's a gold secret rare card. It's the number six most expensive. Coming in at number five on our list is another Coridon EX. This one here is the, looks like to be the alt art version that has sold most recently in auction for about $87. This is a very jungle Jurassic looking background here with other Pokemon in it. Uh, yeah, this one right here is the number five most expensive in the entire set. Coming in number four, we have another familiar Pokemon in Gardevoir EX. This is a secret alternate art card that has sold recently in auction for around $97. And there really isn't anything like these alt art cards. There is so much in the background going on in these cards. So much detail, you gotta love it. This Gardevoir EX, number four most expensive. Getting down to the final three, we have the best trainer in this entire set, at least value wise. 
It is the Full Art Supporter Miriam card that has recently sold an auction for about $102.50. Miriam, the newest and most sought after waifu card so far in Scarlet and Violet, and uh, some of her cards command some serious prices. Stay tuned, you'll see what I'm talking about. This one right here in particular is the number three most expensive in Scarlet and Violet. Coming in second place, we have the other Maridon EX. This is the what looks to be the alternate art version that has sold an auction for $117.50. Not exactly sure what's going on in this illustration. Looks like Maridon is uh, in someone's house or apartment or bedroom. I don't know, it's kind of weird. Uh, not like the uh, jungle setting that we saw with the chloride on. This one's, I don't know. I don't know what's going on there. But this card right here is the number two most expensive overall. And before we get to the number one most expensive card in this entire set, let's go over just a couple of honorable mentions. Here we have a full art supporter card in Jock, or Jack? Jock? Anyway, this card has sold an auction for about $24.50. Uh, we also see a uh, full art nest ball gold trainer card that is sold for $29.29. .29. Here's another familiar Pokemon is the Arcanine EX secret rare card that has sold an auction for $29. I would have thought this and the Gyarados would sell for a bit more. Maybe they're a little bit easier to pull than I realize. I'm not sure. Y'all know anything about that? Let me know. Here's another full art supporter card in Penny, yet again, that has sold an auction for $29.40. And then here, folks, we saw an Oinkalone EX. Okay, it's like Cologne, but with more oink. Anyway, this is probably my favorite card in Scarlet and Violet. It is so hilariously absurd <laughs> and just, yeah. Anyway, this masterpiece has sold an auction for about $5.50. Which brings me to the number one most expensive card in Scarlet and Violet base set. It is this full art secret rare Miriam supporter card that had a couple of sales recently. One sold for $183.50, while another one sold most recently for $225. And it is by far the most expensive card in all of Scarlet and Violet. So folks, what do you think of Scarlet and Violet? Are you feeling these new cards? It's unfortunate because a lot of base set cards like Sword and Shield base set, Sun and Moon base set, they introduce these new Pokemon and these new trainers and they're usually not as valuable as, you know, the Pokemon and trainers we know and love. Uh, at least they don't start out that way. So this list might have seemed a little bit lackluster to you. I know it did to me, although I did enjoy some of the arts of these cards. Let me know what you think of this set, folks. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate it more than you know. That's all I got. I'll catch you all in my next one.